Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the usually once a day road trip trivia quiz. If this trivia quiz makes it out before midnight, it will be a miracle because it's 10.30 right now and it usually takes at least an hour to render. Thank goodness, Trish and Tom sent in another trivia quiz. This one is Canine Capers to go along with the Cool Cats trivia. This is 21 questions that all have dog-themed answers. Good luck. Question number one. Common in the southern U.S., these savory balls of fried cornmeal dough are often served with fried fish. One theory of how they got the name is that people gave the treats to their dogs to keep them quiet while the humans were cooking or eating. What are they called? They are called hush puppies. Question number two. The brightest star in the night sky, twice the size of our sun, is part of the constellation Canis Major and is said to represent one of Orion's hunting animals. Officially named Sirius, what is another commonly known name for it? Sirius is also called the Dog Star. Question number three. Possibly the most famous Siberian Husky in the world, he lived in Nome, Alaska when diphtheria hit. When blizzards grounded all planes, dog sleds were used instead to deliver the medicine. What was the name of this popular dog who helped lead the way and saved many young lives? That dog's name was Balto. Question number four. A British slang term possibly originating in Glasgow, Scotland in the 1930s equates something poorly or untidily done with what a none too fastidious canine might have had for its morning meal. What would this sloppy meal or job be called? They call a sloppy job a dog's breakfast. Question number five. During World War II, a certain Axis country was highly unpopular with the Allies, and this breed's name seemed to honor the enemy. The canines were too valuable as herding, guard, and military and police dogs to be discarded, so in Britain, what dog breed's name was changed to Alsatian? The answer is the German Shepherd. Question number six. Quentin Tarantino's first feature film, released in 1992, achieved only modest success in theaters but became a cult favorite. What was the title of the 1992 film that follows a group of diamond thieves who attempt a heist that goes terribly wrong? The answer is Reservoir Dogs. Question number seven. A canine's hind limb has a distinctive bend which has lent its name to roads, tools, golf fairways, and survey lines with an abrupt angle or sharp curve. Certain politicians are said to be as crooked as a three-word synonym for this canine kink, which is called what? Politicians are crooked as a dog's hind leg, also called a dog leg. Question number eight. Roman legionary recruits were issued a lead disc engraved with name and legion to wear on a leather string around the neck so as to help identify casualties. What is the name of the similar device used in today's militaries?
Those are called dog tags. Question number nine. Perhaps colonists' stubborn refusal to learn from the natives in torrid countries like India, who quite sensibly spent the noon hour indoors, inspired Rudyard Kipling to observe that only Englishmen and what other type of creature would go out in the midday sun? Only Englishmen and mad dogs would go out in the midday sun. Question number 10. Recorded over 250 times by various artists, most famously Elvis Presley in 1956, what rock and roll classic tells of a whiny, complaining canine who has never caught a rabbit and unlike most domestic animals of his species, is no friend of his human? The answer is you ain't nothing but a hound dog. Question 11. This rough collie appeared in a 1940 novel, a 1943 movie, and a long-running TV show. Pal, who played what title canine, won two Picture Animal Top Star of the Year awards and is one of only four animals to earn a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The answer is Lassie. Question 12. This Animagus appears in J.K. Rowling's The Prisoner of Azkaban and is played by Gary Oldman in the movie. What was the first name of this character who was related to Bellatrix Lestrange and Narcissa Malfoy and was the best friend of James Potter? His name was Sirius, Sirius Black. Question 13, a quote attributed to Abraham Lincoln poses the question, if you call the tail a leg, how many legs does a dog have? The reply given by most seemed to be correct but was actually inaccurate and illogical. What was Lincoln's no-nonsense answer to the riddle? He would say, the answer's four, because calling the tail a leg does not make it a leg. Question 14. This spectral black dog haunts the lonely byways of northern England, waiting for solitary travelers. Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre mistakes Rochester's Newfoundland dog for one of these creatures. What are they called? That black dog is called a Gytrish. Question 15. Hot, sultry, and generally disliked, this summertime period follows the rising of Sirius and is historically blamed for the dangerous lightning storms, violent behavior, and bad luck. Also, canines are thought to be at a higher risk of contracting rabies during this time, which we call what? Those late summer days are called the dog days of summer. Question number 16. This rodeo event involves chasing a full-grown steer on horseback, dropping from the horse, grabbing the steer by the horns, and wrestling it to the ground. What is this popular event called? Remember, we're looking for a canine-themed answer. The answer is bulldogging. Question number 17. The story of a Kelpie mix who roams the Pilbara region searching for his long-lost master has become an Australian legend. 
The iron-rich dust of the Pilbara gave him what colorful name, which is also the title of a 2011 movie based on his life. The dog and the movie are called Red Dog. Question number 18. This short-legged, long-bodied hound was bred to hunt burrowing animals, which is why its German name is Badger Dog. Today, the long little doggies are again popular pets and sometimes called wiener dogs. What is the real name of this breed? The real name of a wiener dog is a dachshund. Question number 19. A Russian mutt was the first animal in space aboard the Sputnik 2 in 1954. She is honored on the Monument to the Conquerors of Space in Moscow. What was this pioneering pooch named? The answer is Leica. Question 20. This was said by Mark Anthony in Shakespeare's Julius Caesar and later quoted by, among others, a Klingon in Star Trek IV. In its entirety, Anthony's order was cry havoc and let slip what? Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. All right, that's it for today's trivia. Thank you again to Trish and Tom. I have the names ready for this week's Who Am I fictional characters trivia quiz, but I have not wrote the questions yet. Uh, I, I got stuck at work late today and did not get home in time to get this out on time. In fact, I was so late that I didn't even feel like writing the questions. And thankfully, Trish and Tom came through again, sent this great quiz today. I actually really enjoyed the Canine Capers. Uh, they just do such a good job with the questions. They fit right in with the format of Road Trippia's trivia quizzes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know everybody else enjoyed it. Uh, this was a really good quiz. Thank you for that. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker from Trish and Tom's Canine Caper Trivia. This German Shepherd was rescued from a World War I battlefield by an American soldier who named him for a good luck charm given by a French child. Back in the USA, the dog became an international movie star, appearing in 27 Hollywood films. What was this lucky dog's name? We've already used Lassie. This dog's name is Rin Tin Tin. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. I'm looking at the clock. I don't think this is going to make it out before midnight my time, but it may might make it out before midnight wherever you live. So technically, this is still a once a day trivia quiz. Uh, sometimes I get behind. Actually, I've been pretty on top of it this year, but I know 2020 and even 2021, I, I've done one for every day, but they did not always make it out every day. Sometimes I had to do two or three in a day to catch up. That happens sometimes, especially right now. Just a busy time at work. I apologize. Hang in there. I, I got an email from Polar Bear 
asking uh, where the trivia was at today. I am sorry that it's late. It will happen again, but hopefully not as often. Thank you guys. See you tomorrow.